Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, and welcome to video four. How do I disable blueprint nodes? This is a small little example. If we hit play, we can find that it says starting up actor in the top left, and then it does some logic. We can see the code here. It's using our print string node, which is great for just printing out debug stuff. But if let's say I was done with this and I didn't want to have it print anymore, I might have to unhook it and then hook up around it. And I might have to keep it here maybe if I plan on using it later and then maybe have to rehook it up. Well, you have the ability to disable nodes as well as turn them into development only nodes. And I'll show you how to do that. Now, here's the print string I'm using. You notice it doesn't say development only at the bottom. But here's a brand new print string that does. So de print string nodes by default will come out in development only versions. And you'll notice it's disabled in shipping or test builds. Only in the development builds will it show up. And it kind of skips past it. So how do we actually do this? Well, it's built into the engine. And it's been there for a while. If we search for disable inside of our editor preferences and go to the keyboard shortcuts, we will find the disable nodes shortcut. And this is actually kind of interesting because there's no real right click option technically. I'll show you that actually in a second. But it's kind of hidden because it's a keyboard shortcut that's not bound. So if we bind to it, we find my Alt Delete key will now disable nodes. So if I go in here, I can click on that, use my Alt Delete key, and now you'll find the node is disabled. It's going to skip past it. We hit play. Look, we have no debug text. But how do we re-enable it? Well, unfortunately, disabling isn't a toggle because there's not just disabled, there's enabled, and there's development only that we can see here. So if we go back into our editor preferences, this time let's look for enable. We'll scroll down and you can find here, we have the enable nodes. Enable nodes, enable nodes all way, and enable nodes development only. Now, Enable Nodes, I think, is an older one that doesn't really do anything anymore now that we have the Always in Development option. So if I go back in and I push my hotkeys, you can find that I've now toggled this into Development Only. If we hit Play again, it's going to show up because we are in Test Mode and Development Mode. But if I built this out to Shipping, it would basically strip it out but still have everything else execute after. And if I do my Always, it'll run like normal whether it's in shipping or not. This is also an interesting way to get something that should be development only, like print string, into a normal node. Now, you, I mentioned earlier, technically it's hidden away as a hotkey. Well, it's also hidden away as a right-click menu. If we go back into our editor preferences, and let's go under the blueprint editor, down under experimental, under advanced, we have allow explicit impure node disabling. So if we click on that and go back into our Blueprint Editor, now in the right-click menu, we have Compile Options. Disable, Do Not Compile, same thing as our hotkey, or Enable Compile, Always, and Development. You can actually see those hotkeys I set up are showing there. So I can go back in, Enable Development Only, and now our print string works like normal, or we could right-click, Disable it, or Enable it for Always mode. This, of course, works with other nodes as well, like Custom Events. This is just a quick and easy way to disable the execution of nodes without having to disconnect them. 